crippled crane still suspending hundreds of feet above Midtown Atlanta. Safety fears hanging in the balance of right now at six. New details and concerns for neighbors following yesterday's frightening partial collapse. Brand new images just like this one giving us a much closer look at the damage that has been left behind. Good evening. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Alan Devlin. Still more than a thousand apartment homes remain under evacuation and street closures are making a mess of midtown traffic. Here's exactly where you need to avoid. I want to pull up a map for you really quick. You can see right here that is the trouble spot. The crane is at 1018 West Peachtree Street and West Peachtree Street and Spring Street from 12th to 10th remain shut down. That is a major thoroughfare in Midtown Atlanta, if you're familiar with the area. Just a couple of blocks from the Midtown MARTA station, which is right, Sean, over here. Atlanta News First, Patrick Quinn is live from Midtown tonight. And Patrick, it is a precarious situation tonight, but we're glad to report that all four people that were injured are now out of the hospital. That's right, such great news. The four workers who were hurt, they have been treated and released from the hospital now. What to do with that crane? Just one of a handful in the Midtown skyline right now. Well, that crane will have to be disassembled until that happens. The project site is closed and for those who live in the area, they can't go home. A close up look at the damage of a partial crane collapse in Midtown now under investigation to construction companies Balfour Beatty Construction LLC and Maxim LP. Mayor Andre Dickens told me city officials are also looking into what went wrong. We will do a thorough investigation in this scenario with the state of Georgia, with OSHA, to be able to see what happened uh, in this specific incident so that one, it never happens again, and two, we can figure out fault and accountability. This is not the first crane collapse in Midtown just two years ago, two blocks away. Mm -hmm. There's a crane about to fall. The 911 call, a loose, unstable crane had to be disassembled. Residents in the area were displaced a week. The Midtown sky still crowded with cranes. In fact, we checked. According to the Midtown Alliance, take a look at this map. There are 32 projects in 2023 alone that have either been completed, are under construction, or in the planning process. Atlanta has been under construction for quite a while. There's a lot of cranes in the city. There's a lot of new development. Dickens celebrated the city's improvements in the pace of green lighting projects, but stressed this development must be delivered safely. Our buildings department is doing a phenomenal job in making sure they do inspections of the buildings as well as the building equipment. We reached out to Balfour Beatty Construction LLC and Maxim LP. A spokesperson for Balfour told me in a statement, quote, the crane at the 1018 West Peachtree construction project was successfully stabilized and now requires dismantling. The Balfour Beatty team, crane engineers, OSHA and local authorities are currently working to develop a crane dismantling plan and timeline to ensure the project site and adjacent residential buildings are safe and secure. And back here live in Midtown, a lot of brake lights. Keep in mind, streets around 10th and West Peachtree, they will remain closed until the crane is disassembled. So traffic, it will be tough at times, and it certainly will spill out of that immediate region. Now, we reached out to who we believe is the developer and the architect of this project. We have not heard back tonight. Live from Midtown, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.